Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. The SNP are so imbued with lies, with misinformation, with falsehoods and mistruths, that even when they're presented with an actual fact, they refuse to believe it, they cannot accept it, because it is showing them up to be in a bad light. And we have this now from Jenny Gilruth, the, uh, the schools minister, the education minister, someone who, when presented with an actual piece of factual evidence, says, I refuse to believe that. What hope have the children of Scotland got if the education minister is incapable of accepting facts? What on earth is going on? Well, not much in schools, that's for sure, because these particular facts go to show that standards uh, of discipline and levels of sort of physical attacks in schools are higher in Scotland than in England, and this is under the SNP and their soft touch to discipline. And so, of course, it's no wonder. And yet Gilruth sits there, looks at this and says, no, I refuse to believe it. She needs to go into a school. I mean, she is the education minister. Has she ever been to a school? And I don't just mean as education minister. Given her level of general dumbness, I'm wondering, has she ever been to a school? Ever? Even as a child? Because she isn't very good at it, is she? Anyway, we'll take a look at this and see why she is just unaccepting of these facts. Here goes. So we are. Jenny Gilruth schooled after questioning uh, classroom physicality stats that show that Scotland is worse than England. Of course, it's not just the physical side. There's also the general level of back chatting, uh, of verbal abuse, that sort of thing, which is also higher in Scotland. For some reason, um, discipline is lower. Now, this can only be the result of 16 years of educational policy, where they've sort of eased the way that teachers aren't allowed to uh, suspend pupils as easily or uh, throw them out of the school even, you know, get them out of the school entirely. Uh, that's all being taken away. That's made much, much harder to do. And so, of course, without those sort of threats of, uh, you know, against the children for their bad behaviour, there's no limit to their bad behaviour. There's nothing there with which you can discipline them or threaten them. It's a sad state of affairs. But that's 16 years of SNP policy. What do you expect? Uh, anyway, teachers in Scotland schools are in fact worse off than those in England, Hamza Yousaf's education secretary is told, after she claimed it was difficult to believe. Well, of course it is, because they can never be wrong. We keep saying this. Oh, look, we're the SNP. Everything we do is perfect and wonderful. And look at all the beautiful children coming out, all of them with five degrees and a doctorate, after all the years of free education that we're providing them in crappy schools that are falling apart with uh, the worst of the teachers because all the good ones go south where they're earning more money and paying less tax. Uh, and where there's no discipline in the schools and where we're not funding uh, extramural activities to the required degree, you know, level. All this, 16 years of it, is it any bloody wonder? And there she is, you know, brain the size of a peanut, sitting inside that big head thing of yours, boggling away. You're incapable of accepting facts, Jenny Gilruth. What is your problem? Now, she's probably never been to a school. And I don't mean as education secretary. I mean like ever. Nobody, nobody's that stupid if they've ever been to school. She must have bunked off a lot because she is pretty damn dumb, isn't she? Uh, anyway, SNP Education Secretary Jenny Gilruth has been publicly corrected after she shed doubt over the state of Scotland schools when compared to England. Not only was she accused of being oblivious to the ongoing struggle with bad student behaviour, which is getting worse and worse continually, uh, but she claimed she did not believe Scottish teachers were suffering more than those in England. And this is the trouble. It's all to do with belief, not facts. Belief is what you do on a Sunday when you go to church. Facts are what you do on the other six days of the week, Jenny. You know, when you're doing your damn job. Uh, she, this was after the teaching unit, NASUWT, told her that their survey revealed 39% of Scottish teachers suffered physical abuse and 94% were verbally abused last year. In England, the rate was 37%, 2% lower, and 90%, 4% lower. So obviously, uh, still bad in England. Don't get me wrong, it's, I'm not defending the English numbers at all. They're still horrendously high. Uh, but it's still, it's still lower than Scotland. So, I mean, being a teacher in Scotland is not much fun, is it? 
No matter matter so many, uh, sorry, no wonder so many of them don't uh, choose to do it. But the trouble is you don't have the ability anymore uh, just to go, right, you're excluded, you're out, bang, you're gone. Any any, Any pupil who badmouths you, you get them out of the class straight away, bang. Any pupil who raises their hand to you, you have them out of the school, bang, done. And you say to the head teachers, I'm not having that child in my class. I was assaulted by that child, I'm not having it. And if they say, well, you've got to, you say, no, I haven't. You take your coat off. Sorry, you, 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 you know, put your chalk down, put your coat on, your jacket on, get in your car and drive. Drive off, go and get another job. And when enough teachers have done that, they'll change the rules. And then all those teachers that walked away will be begged to come back. Uh, anyway, she made these claims at a fringe education event. Well, that's fair enough. She had a fringe education, didn't she? Uh, at the SNP's Aberdeen Conference the backlash has been dubbed a major source of embarrassment for the minister. Well, she should be used to that. Just about everything she's ever done has been a major source of embarrassment, hasn't it? Uh, she said it was difficult to believe that Scottish people's, uh, pupils were worse behaved. Strangely, I don't disbelieve that. I found that very easy. Uh, Eddie Carroll from the Union is said to have then highlighted its survey on behaviour, which covers the whole of the UK, and is quoted as having told the minister, we can send you statistics, Jenny on behaviour or in discipline, which is actually higher in Scotland. But of course she can't, she can't get her head round that things happening in Scotland aren't perfect. Things that that are under the control of the SNP aren't perfect because she's delusional. She's believing her own lies. She's believe, she's honestly huffing her own farts is the saying I heard. And that's the one I'm sticking with. This woman is reading her own press outlays uh, from her own spin doctors and believing them. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Anyway, according to the Scottish Sun, Miss Gilruth said, I'm not necessarily sure I believe that. I'd have to look at your evidence. I'm not sure behaviour in Scotland could be worse than other parts of the UK. Well, if the man's told you this and you're saying I don't believe you, you're calling him a liar. Why would the man stand there and lie to you? Except, of course, that you, coming from the SNP, are just used to lies and you just accept that what everyone says is a lie. That's the trouble. You can't believe truth. You can't hear truth. You don't understand what truth is. Anyway, the SNP Cabinet Secretary has already been urged to make school problems like this her top priority after nearly 15,000 reports of classroom incidents during 21-22. Earlier this year, it was revealed that at least 14,500 this year already um, of these incidents were recorded at primary and secondary schools. You're talking what? Set primary 5 through to 11 in 2021? However, the true figure is likely to be much higher as the total did not include Glasgow or West Dumbartonshire schools. Oh, it's going to be over 20,000 then, isn't it? It's going to be massive amounts. Uh, Scottish uh, Conservative Deputy Education Spokesman Rose McCall said, uh, sorry, Ros McCall, my apologies, Ros, said this should be a major source of embarrassment for Jenny Gilruth and the SNP and 16 years of SNP policy. Um, the SNP's Education Secretary appears to be oblivious as to how this trouble is spiralling in Scotland schools. She's oblivious to everything because she's not really interested and she's not good at her job and she's incapable of of actually dealing with these incidents. She lacks any authority uh, and she lacks the ability to actually change the rule to say, oh no, first, you know, there's none of this three strike stuff. Three strikes verbally, one strike uh, physical. You know, you get three three strikes if you're verbally abusive. One, two, three, you're out. on physical abuse, it's one. One strike, you're done. And that's it. You ever raise your hands, you're done. You're out. It's the only way you can control this. Uh, a spokesman for Miss Gilroy said she was taking real action on improving behaviour in schools. That's clearly a lie. She's been in the job seven, eight months, so on and so now. She's done nothing. So it's, it's, it's never... And how could, she, how could she possibly be taking action? Think about this. How could she possibly be taking real action on it if she wasn't even aware of the actual stats. So that goes to show that that line is complete and utter horse shit, isn't it? Uh, Since her appointment, she's already led the first stage of the Behaviour Summit on this issue, with the second stage taking place this week and a third in November. Oh, that seems all very, very quick, doesn't it? She didn't believe the guy. She hadn't read the stats. She's done sod all about it, that's why. All the time, lies and twisting the truth and spin. Oh, the lies and the spin are much more important than actually solving the problems that you have caused. Silly woman, coming up. The trouble with Jenny Gilruth is, I don't think I've ever 
done a story about her that's been positive. I've never been able to say, oh, look, she's put this out, boom, or she's done that, blah. Never, and it's not that I'm not doing the stories. They've never been in the paper. Every time she's there, every time she's in the news, it's a failure. Something else has failed. Never actually achieved anything. But this isn't surprising. You've got the failure in chief, Hamza Yusuf, failed at everything he's ever done. He builds a cabinet up and he doesn't pick anyone from the other side of the party. He just picks it up and fills his cabinet with all his coterie of obsequious sycophants and lickspittles. All his big kiss asses. But every single one of them is a failure. Not one of them's ever achieved anything. And it's no wonder everything is crashing and burning. And she's a prime example. She is another one, a serial failure, being given education, which is the most ironic uh, of, of posts, I think, that's ever been given under Hamza Yousaf, putting what is probably one of the dumbest members of his cabinet in charge of education. It's unbelievable bad, isn't it? It's no wonder the uh, no wonder Scotland's education system down in the dumps when you've got 16 years, nearly 17 years now, of SNP policy and it's done nothing but damage it. And then to top it off, you put bloody Jenny Gilruth in charge of it. A woman who can't count a coconut, you know. Anyway, I shall stop there before she winds me up. Thank you very much for watching. Let's go and all sort of learn to count on our fingers and toes and be one step ahead of Jenny. And uh, until next time, stay safe, stay well, and just keep watching the skies, because I'm, sure I'm sure there's something terrible about to happen. Anyway, bye.